Chartism was the first mass national working class political movement that was one dedicated to obtaining the reform of Parliament. Here at the People's History Museum, we can see a number of Chartist prints which help illustrate their aims and tactics. This image is a Chartist print from about 1840. We can see three men surrounded by laurel leaves, the Chartist leaders, Bronte O'Brien, Fergus O'Connor, and factory reformer Richard Osler. They're joined by dead radical heroes Henry Hunt and William Cobbett. Hunt was the leader of the reform movement at the time of Peterloo. The Chartists gained their name from the Six Point Charter with six clear demands. The image shows three of these demands, annual parliament, universal male suffrage, and vote by ballot. If we turn to this print, you can see the size of the Chartist movement. This shows the Chartist procession of 1842 carrying in the second charter's petition, there are estimates of 100,000 people on this demonstration to Parliament. It was the largest petition up to that point in history, claiming over 3 million signatures. The Chartists used these petitions as campaigning tools and were used to attempt to persuade the government to accept their six demands. Three huge petitions were presented to Parliament in 1839, 1842 and 1848. All came during economic slumps and all were rejected. But the 1842 petition that we see in this engraving went even further than the other two petitions. As well as their six demands of the Charter, they also called for the repeal of the Poor Law Act and the repeal of the Act of Union between Britain and Ireland. This engraving was given away as a free gift to subscribers of the Chartist newspaper, the Northern Star. So it's a celebration of the petition and an act of commemoration for a movement that may have failed in its own time, but helped set the agenda for parliamentary reform for decades to follow.